Rocket Systems Prime. This is Bloodhound SSC. It's going to be the fastest car in the world. And with me are children from around the country who are investigating what will make this one of the most incredible vehicles ever to be built. It's called Bloodhound SSC. SSC stands for supersonic car. It's trying to travel over 1,000 miles per hour. That's faster than a bullet fired from a gun. It's aiming to break the land speed record of 763 miles per hour set by this car in 1997. We're on a mission to find out what's needed to build the world's fastest car. Now, just like a normal car, Bloodhound has wheels, but there's something very different about them. Have you noticed what it is? Well, maybe my willing investigators have found something out. So, like any normal car, Bloodhound has four wheels, but what's different about them? Have you noticed anything? But it doesn't have any tyres. Yes, it doesn't have any tyres, and there's a very good reason for that. And what I'd like you to do is find out why. Unlike a normal car, Bloodhound only has to go in a straight line to break the land speed record. But surely it still needs tyres. We've come to Mallory Park Rising Track in Leicestershire. And we're going to burn some rubber. <laughs> Hundreds of different types of cars use this track every day, from racing cars to motorbikes. So where better to try and find out why tyres are normally so important for driving? At the track today is Bloodhound teammate Connor and racing driver Simon. They put a swingometer device on top of the car, so what on earth is that all about? And more importantly, what's it got to do with Bloodhound? We're going to go on the track this time with Simon in this car, but for this experiment, we're going to use this arrow to show what's going on with this car as the tyres grip as we go through the bends. So when we're in the car and we feel our bodies being thrown left and right, we'll have a chat and try and figure out which way we think the arrow's going, which way the forces are acting on us in the car as it goes around the bends, OK? Yep. yep. Let's go. We wouldn't be able to drive along like this now if we didn't have tyres. Simon would put his foot on the throttle and probably the wheels would just spin and spin and spin. Feel the grip, feel the tyre gripping, <laughs> pushing you right <laughs> over that size. <laughs> Which way did you feel yourselves go? We're going to change again. Get ready. Get ready for another change. Another change. Well done. So when you go into the corner, the car rolls one way. If you change direction, the car rolls the other way. And if there were no tyres on these on these wheels, we just slip straight off the track. There's very little grip without having the rubber. Feel the forces again. And when we go left, which way does your body go? And when we go right, which way does your body go? Left. Which way do you think the arrow went on the roof then? Same as you Left. or different? Same Sorry. as you. Is that how your mum and dad's drive? Uh, no. My dad does, he's a maniac. <laughs> <laughs> but having tyres doesn't always mean your car will stay on the road. We wanted to know why these cars were spinning all over the place, even with tyres. So we asked Bloodtown teammate Annie Beresford. Okay, guys, what we've got here is cars doing drifting. So they've got normal road tyres on, which is exactly like what you've got on your car that you came in today. But I bet you weren't driving like this. Now, your tyres are normally giving you the grip that you need to stay on the road and drive sensibly around corners. These guys are actually spinning their wheels so fast that they're losing that grip and enabling them to slide. We're really lucky with Bloodhound in that we're going in a straight line only, so we don't actually have to go around any corners. Bloodhound's wheels will need to travel so fast they'd also lose grip. Tyres would get so hot they'd explode. If Bloodhound had tyres, the grip would actually slow the car down, but not having any tyres comes at a price. So we've seen how important tyres are in that car whizzing around the track. We're going to have a little play on these bikes now and see how important tyres are on a bike and see whether you can spot a difference, OK? Just jump on and we'll go for a little ride around, and then we'll have a chat. Ready, guys? Off you go. There's something very strange about Anton's bike that's making it very difficult to steer and so bumpy. How was that? Bumpy. Slippy? 
Yeah. Flippy, did you feel like you were going to fall off at all, wobbly? Yeah, when I was turning uh, back round, I felt like I was going to... We be saw, sick. your back wheel was all over the place, because there's no tyre. And you were fine, because you had lovely squashy tyres, nice and grippy. Yeah. Could you do that every day, or was that a one-off? One-off. One-off. So, so on the road, on the bikes, tyres are a great thing. But yeah. for bloodhounds, we're too fast for tyres. It's fastest tyres in the world, 450 miles an hour. We're going 1,000. So Bloodhound has solid wheels, just like you. We're running on the rims, There's no tyres. So we have to design that into the car. Bloodhound's wheels are also really thin for such a big car. And we wanted to know why. It's time to get our skates on. Guys, how did you find that? Was it good? Yeah, slippery. Really slippy. Why do you think that was so slippy now? Is it because our blades on the shoes are really thin? Yeah, the fact that your blades are really thin and the fact that you're on a really, really slippy surface and there's very little friction between the two. Whereas if you were to step onto the tarmac, it's really grippy and actually you wouldn't slide anywhere. And that's just like Bloodhound. We've actually got very thin wheels so that we can cut through the ground very, very easily and there's not a lot of friction on those wheels. But it also means stopping and slowing down is harder for us and so we can't use our wheel brakes because the wheels will slide quite easily. So what have you learnt about Bloodhound's wheels? Well, the wheels are made out of aluminium and if they were proper tyres at high speed, they would explode. Right, OK. Anything else? Yes, the Bloodhound car did not have any tyres because the tyres would grip to the ground and make it go slower. Right, OK. But if it doesn't have tyres, it must be really bumpy, I imagine, yeah? Yeah. The normal car would have tyres to go around the bend, but the Bloodhound does not need tyres because it is going in a straight line. Well, glad I'm not riding it. <laughs>